I incorporate consumers' persistent heterogeneous preferences in this model. And heterogeneity is modeled as household-specific brand diet random coefficients. Both the model and the methodology contribute to the literature by flexibly incorporating persistent random components into dynamic demand models of storable goods. I estimate this model using a computationally friendly method, and both the model and methodology are readily applicable to a variety of studies on storable goods. I employ the methodology here to quantify the effect of welfare changes as a result of taxes. I estimate the post-tax consumption change. Furthermore, I estimate the compensating variation and the substitution patterns post-tax. I predict the welfare loss as a result of these tax as well. I find that failing to account for dynamics and random coefficients result in an overestimation in long-run price elasticities and hence overestimates the reduction in total consumption due to the tax. Furthermore, I find that while these taxes generate a small amount of welfare loss, they target or they tax households with low incomes more than their high-income counterparts. <laughs>